Great, so now we've got all our opportunity costs, so now we can work out our comparative advantages. So, which country do you think has a comparative advantage in tea production? And remember, to work our comparative advantage, you must see which country has a lower opportunity cost of tea. So, the opportunity cost of tea in India is 0.333, whereas the opportunity cost of tea in Brazil is 0.5. So that's what we must look at. Here, the opportunity cost of producing tea in India is lower than the opportunity cost of producing tea in Brazil. If the opportunity cost is lower in India than in Brazil, then India has a comparative advantage in tea production. So let's write that down. India has got a comparative advantage in tea production. Great. So if India were to specialize in any products, India would produce tea. Now let's have a look at coffee. Coffee, the opportunity cost of coffee in India is 3 kilograms of tea, yet the opportunity cost of coffee in Brazil is 2 kilograms of, tree, of tea. So it's cheaper, in effect, Brazil can make coffee more efficiently because the opportunity cost of coffee in Brazil is lower than the opportunity cost of coffee in India. So Brazil has a comparative advantage in coffee production. Comparative advantage in coffee production. And that's all a result of working out the opportunity cost and seeing which opportunity cost is lower in each country. So now that we've worked out the comparative advantage, we can see which countries would specialize in which good. So who would specialize in what? Well, if India have a comparative advantage in tea production, they're going to specialize in tea production. And if Brazil have a comparative advantage in coffee, they're going to specialize in coffee production. But that's according to one factor. What we haven't looked at here is the analysis of gains from trade and whether a country will produce or not, will trade with another country or not. Let's have a look at coffee. The opportunity cost of coffee in India is 3 kilograms of tea, and yet the opportunity cost of coffee in Brazil is 2 kilograms of tea. So what do you think the price of coffee should be within each country? Well, in terms of the other good, the price of coffee in India is 3 kilograms of tea. And the price of coffee in Brazil is 2 kilograms of tea. That's how much you can swap 1 kilogram of coffee for 2 kilograms of tea tea, where in India you can swap one kilogram of coffee for three kilograms of tea. So in effect, those are the prices of the goods. So if you wanted to see whether there are gains from trade, and the only way that these countries will trade is if the price of coffee is somehow between two kilograms of tea and three kilograms of tea. So must be two kilograms of tea, must be lower than the price of coffee. for trade to take place, which must be lower than the 3 kilograms of tea. So the price of coffee, for there to be trade taking place, the price of coffee must be in between 2 kilograms of, of tea and 3 kilograms of tea. Now why is that the case? Well, you can only realize gains from trade if the price is in between this. Let's say that it's 2.5 kilograms of tea. Let's see whether a country will benefit. Let's have a look at how Brazil can gain from trade. For Brazil, they're going to specialize in coffee production, so they're going to produce 108 units of coffee, which before trade, they could swap for 2 kilograms of tea, of tea so they could produce 216 kilograms of tea indirectly. They could produce all coffee and swap it for 216 kilograms of tea. But now after trade, they can produce all coffee, 108, and produce and swap it for two and a half kilograms of tea. So now their production possibility frontier curve will be a lot greater because they can swap more tea for each unit of coffee that they produce. So they are definitely going to gain from trade. And they will only um, they will only go into trade if the price is between these values, i.e. if it's greater than 2 kilograms of tea. Because if it's greater than 2 kilograms of tea, then they can completely specialize in coffee production and swap it for more tea per unit of coffee.